Hello, in this video, we're gonna talk you through the first boot or initial setup of the Sony Xperia Z1. So the first thing you need to do is press and hold for a couple of seconds on the silver power button on the right side of the device. You'll feel the device vibrate and you'll see the Sony logo appear on screen. When it does, you can remove your finger from the power button and the device will boot up. Now the first boot will require some initial configuration and setup of the device to get best use from it in the future. The initial boot will take longer, but future booting of the device will be considerably quicker. So the device will begin loading. You may be presented with this lock screen, so if we slide it up, and the first things first is to select the language that you want. So there are a whole variety of different languages from within this list, and you need to select the language option that best reflects your needs. So if we click Done here, because we're going to select English United Kingdom, the next thing we'll present it with is some uh, conditions and the important information. So you may want to read that by clicking important information and you tick that when you're done. Tap the arrow button. Here we can connect uh, to the internet and configure our settings. Now, best practice have, is to already have inserted your micro SIM card. It's not essential, but best practice uh, would get you the best configuration set up. So we're gonna go for mobile and Wi-Fi here. Would you like it to download our internet settings? We're going to go for yes, make sure all set up as easy as possible. And we're going to keep going through these arrows. We set the specific date and time so we can set whether it's automatic. We can tick this box here and that will be based on our SIM card. We can select whether it automatically pits up the time zone as well. Or we untick these and we can set the time and date manually. So you can scroll through to whatever it is that you want to set the date as, preferably the date that you're currently on. Just for example, I'm just going to set them as this. We can choose the time format and the date format. And when you're happy, having clicked in and configured the options to your liking, click Done. You can then click the arrow to go forward, or you can always go back through the settings if you choose. Now you've got your Wi-Fi connection. So here you can search for networks. So it's gonna go off and search for a wireless network that I have here. So I want to connect to this one, for example. It's password protected. So I'm just gonna put in my password to connect. Once I've entered that, I click connect. And it will authenticate and uh, connect to the network uh, if possible. And then once you've uh, done that, you click done. And then you go to the next screen. If you've got a Sony Entertainment Network account, you can sign in here or you can get started here. Now it's got a problem with my internet connection. So I can go back and I can go for the network settings again. So there's a problem there with that. So uh, let me try one of the other connections we've got here. Okay, so we're now connected to the wireless network. Click done, and then go back through. So we could get started with the Sony Entertainment Network here if we'd like. So if you've got an account already, you can sign in. If you haven't, you can create an account. Now you can always come back to this later. You just click back to come out, and then go on to the next step. You can also add any accounts that you have here. Again, it's preferable to set them up now and you often want to sync automatically, do be aware you might need to consider your internet or data connection uh, on this because it will require constant connection. So you can click into each one and either create um, a new account or add an existing account. Now each of these settings will of course be personal to yourself, so you need to enter uh, your relevant sign in details. For the speed of this video, we're not actually going to sign in to each individual account during the boot up procedure, but you simply have to add your relevant settings to each one and it should all be explained fairly clearly on screen. Once you've done that, you'll come back to this account or this screen, click here and then you're ready to go and you finish. 
So it'll be a bit of a disclaimer around a few things. Read them and confirm, and then you'll get through to your home screen. And then most of your settings should have been pre-configured based on the data you've input with your Google, Facebook accounts, etc. And a lot of information may automatically load up now, so your device may take a few minutes to pull down new data or information. If you didn't add any accounts at the time, you can always add them at a later date, and you'll see that in our other videos on our channel. So that's the initial boot up procedure on the Sony Xperia Z1.